Do you want to see how to get this dewy look? Do you want dewy skin? Do you want to look like you came from space? Or Mars? You know, me, I'm a Mars, Mars bar. <laughs> I don't know if you got that, but anyway. All right, let's get the ultimate Danessa Margaret glowy, dewy skin. Boop, boop, boop. By the way, my brother's in the background, so please, please ignore him if you can. I'm trying my hardest. Mm. There he goes again. <laughs> what, where? Mm -hmm. Anyways, I have been doing the Danessa Micros course online because she was meant to come to Sydney on my birthday. She was literally coming on the 27th of May. I know, right? And then the pandemic happened and it kind of <gasps> effed everything up. So, <laughs> I'm sure it's effed up more than that, but you know, let's, let's move forward. Um, so, I was thinking like, I want to do a little review and I also want to do kind of the style of method that she uses. So let's try to get the most dewiest skin. Dewiest? Right. What was that It's like wet skin, George. Dewiest. Dewiest. So I'm going in with the beauty oil from Janessa Micros. I will tag everything below. I get everything from Bedazzled Beauty and they're actually who has sponsored the giveaway. So make sure to enter that. I think there's only now seven days left. Oh, it's getting close. It's getting close. So I'm just taking like four drops from the beauty oil from Danessa Micros. And I'm going to kind of be placing that. Look at the difference that oil does. Like, do you see how already luminous my skin looks on this side compared to the dull side? So I'm basically going to pop this everywhere. And then I'm just going in with my hand and I'm just going to really like massage the skin. I feel like this is so important as well. So I've got three of her illuminating veils. I'm going to be completely honest right now. These are probably one of the best illuminating veils I have ever tried. Um, they go on, let me swatch it for you so you understand what I mean, pigment. And you really, 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 really only need a little. They are all three. So you've got Serenity, Goddess, and then Light. Just. Like what the, and that was a dot, a peanut, <laughs> a peanut size. Because I do want more of a bronzy, I want to look a bit more tan. I feel very, like my body is a completely different shade to my, to my face. So whatever. I'm actually going to use all three because I feel like we should completely be bougie. So why not? Right. So I'm going to mix. Oh, what am I going to mix? It's a good, good idea. I'm going to put a bit of goddess, way too much of goddess. So the trick is you use the same brush that had the oil. And the reason why is because I feel like it just always glides on a bit more better and it does shear it out a little bit. So this was a dot, mind you, like look how much is on the brush. Can you even see? Oh, now I'm going to bring that. Bad. I'm not gonna lie, my skin is not the best, but whatever. You never want to miss your ears. I have earrings and I used to hate putting anything on my ears, but if you get a brush where you can kind of go around it, you'll be fine. A little bit on my forehead. Just so now with the same brush, I'm getting Serenity and I'm putting that on the top. Kind of just blending them together. I hope you can see. I'm putting a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and now we're going in with light. Now I'm taking light and I'm just putting that just there. Now I'm going in with my fingers and I'm just gonna be tapping everything and make sure she's all good to go. So now I'm just taking the Melissa Zassine Beauty Beauty Sponge. <laughs> God, I had a brain freeze. And I'm just going to be making sure that she's all ready to go. 
So this is the Janessa Micros Vision Cream in style, in style, in NO6. Now I have tried this on another date and her vision creams, foundations are incredible. Um, I personally, like I love them because I feel like it's just, it glides on, it's suitable for every skin type, doesn't wear off, it's, it's really good. Like her ranges are incredible. I totally think it's worth it. The only thing that I have to say that isn't that great I'll tell you in a minute. Let's get on to this last, okay? I am mixing the foundation in with the goddess, okay? The reason I'm doing that is because I want to start off by placing that all around where I'm going to start contouring. And that's just going to enhance that a little bit more. And then we'll use the same technique with a lighter shade for everywhere else. So I'm just taking a Real Techniques brush. And you want to really... Start off with a very light hand and I'm just going to basically ah, go in. Whatever you do to your face, you do to your body. So just because this part of my body is showing, I am going to do exactly what we're doing to my face to my neck because you want to make sure that everything looks like it's just there like you rolled out of bed this is how you look like no big deal <laughs> back in with our beauty blender and you want to really pound that in you really want to make sure that everything you do is blended i personally like to go in with my brush and then i'll use my sponge to redo it all now if you want to use a smaller part for your nose this is why I love those sponges. Such an underrated product. Is it a thing when people blend, like use a beauty sponge or beauty blender? Do you guys put your pinky out too or is that just a me thing? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> I always do it. And then sometimes like my pinky legitimately feels stuck. I'm like, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a boomerang, you know? <laughs> now I do have two lighter shades. And the reason I have these lighter shades is because I want to use this shade for my concealer and this shade for everything else. Let's really hope and pray that it all looks good. This is Nude 5. Okay, with these foundations, um, they're incredible as well. The only thing I have to say is that this whole bottle isn't full. Um, I know it looks like it is, but after you get through a few pumps, it starts to flatten out. So I don't know how they actually do this. They do last a really long time and you really only need a little bit. That's how much I have. Also, you need to move fast. These dry and set. Once they're placed and you move, they're gone. So you either place them and you know where you're placing them or do not place it at all and wait till you're ready. Um, I'm talking, so I really hope this doesn't dry. <laughs> Let's see. I'm taking Serenity. I'm going to put that on the side and I'm going to mix these two. And remember what we said, a little bit really goes a long way. So I'm using this brush from Anne Hazrati. This is a FO5 brush. And I'm placing this everywhere. I won't place like my concealer. Back in with our beauty blender and we're going to just be bouncing it all in. I make some really weird facial expressions if you did not know that already. So now I'm going in with new five and the only, okay, so let me show you what I mean. See how that's all empty. And this is new, okay? So that's the only thing. Really, George? I'm sure there's a reason. I'm gonna try Google it and I'll write it in the description if I find it. I'm just using a little brush and we're going to be using this to conceal. Oh, I'm just putting that around my eye. What a difference did that make? Oh, God. That there. And I like to bring it all the way back. See how my eye just looks so lifted now? So to intensify our contour a bit more, I'm going in with Nude 9. This is a bit of a darker shade and I'm going to be taking a little, little bit and I'm going to be using this, very small, um, just on top of our contour and I'm using the same brush that we used before and the method I'm doing is tapping 
and flicking up. Before we start blending this, I'm taking some of the oil and I'm putting two drops. Literally. And I'm gonna use that to blend everything out. So now I'm going in with coffee cake. I'm actually gonna use this a little bit on my cheeks too. And I am gonna actually put this on my lips too. Just use the same brush we used before to blend everything out. So I'm going back in. I know, I know it's a lot of layers. I'm going back in with these two veils. This is Serenity and Light, and I'm gonna be using these as my highlighters. So I'm going in with a fluffy brush, and I'm actually gonna be placing that just a little bit lower where I, than I would usually be placing my highlighters. Just placing it right there. Then we go with our beauty sponge, and you just wanna pounce it all in. Make sure it's all blended. See, mum, you got to make sure it's all blended. Taking the lighter shade, I have gone through my whole hand, but anyway. You really want to take a little bit because this is um, bright. And I love placing this here. Taking that same shade on a brush. And I'm just going to... I just want to define my cupid's bow a bit more. So to add to the glow that we have on our skin, because we look like a crystal ball, we're going to go in with Crystal from Danessa Micros. I'm taking this on a paintbrush. Okay, last but not least, I'm going in with Sun. And this is... This is um the most... Like, how do I even explain it? If you want your skin to look wet and like... Just incredible. <gasps> you need this in your life. So I'm putting that where I placed that white highlighter and a little bit just here. And I'm just adding crystal to my lips because I think I didn't really like how it looked just with the color. One more time, blend out. gonna add some mascara and I'll be right back this is the final result everyone so final thoughts on the Danessa Micros product range I personally think her range is so underrated I love everything that she represents like I said it's only those little color fixes that I feel like are very empty and I don't really understand why she makes it like that um i really need to look into that and i like i said i'll leave anything in the description that i find other than that i think her products are so incredible they're so versatile you can use them for like literally anything you can put the highlighter like under your foundation on top of your foundation with your foundation on your eyelids your lips so i'm, I'm kind of like a disco ball so I hope you learned a few things to get um, really dewy skin with minimal product. I, I know I did layer up a lot of things, but it was pretty much the same things that I, will, I was layering up. And I feel like if you know how to layer up properly, the like outcome will come incredible. I hope that made sense. I don't know if they did, but anyway. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, everything will be listed below if you want to check it out. And yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Please stay safe and... All love and support coming out my way. Mwah. Bye, everyone.